I'm Roy from Roy's Garage. Today I'm going to be working on a 2008 Infiniti M35S. I'm going to show you how to replace the rear brake pads and rotors. These are the tools I'm going to be using today to do this job. A hood prop, rubber mallet, 3 8 ratchet, 14 millimeter socket, 19 millimeter socket, 19 millimeter wrench, 14 millimeter wrench, 8 millimeter wrench, small flat tip screwdriver, an air gun, caliper piston compressor, Phoenix brake flusher, brake clean, anti seize, ceramic grease, suction ball, and a bottle of water with a hole on the top. These are the parts I'm going to be using today to do this job. Rear brake pads, rear rotors, and dot 3 brake fluid. First I'm going to be removing this rubber cap. While the caliper is mounted, I'm going to be loosening up the bleeder screw. So I'm going to be removing this caliper. There's two bolts, one here and one here I got to remove. Okay, if you notice, this caliper bolt cannot come out because of this arm. So what I'm going to do now is jack up the suspension to change the angle of this arm so I can remove this bolt. Okay, so I'm going to be jacking up the suspension. Okay. Now we can remove this pin. Removing the pads. So I'm going to be removing the caliper mount. There's two bolts, one here and one there. Yeah, removing this rotor so I'm gonna be compressing the piston using my piston compressor so I'm gonna open up the bleeder screw while I compress the piston you're gonna see the brake fluid start coming out I don't want any of that dirty brake fluid to go back up to the master So I'm going to be transferring this rubber plug to the new rotor. Putting some, putting some anti-seize around my hub. So I'm going to adjust the emergency brake. Put this rotor on. Feels a little loose, so I'm going to be turning the, the star adjuster, I'm going to expand the shoe. Just expand it until you feel a very slight drag. Okay, that feels good. Okay, so now I'm going to be cleaning my rotor with some brake clean. Making sure there's no oil on this rotor. If you notice this rotor is coated. Don't remove the coating. Leave it on. When you roll test the vehicle. You might hear a grinding sound. That's all this coating that's coming off. After a few miles the grinding sound will go away. Then you'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to be lubricating the caliper mount. Put some lubricant where my pins go in. Lub lubricating my hardware. I'm going to be reusing the old hardware. If your old hardware is still good, just reuse it. Sometimes when you use the new hardware that comes into the kit, it doesn't fit good and it wants to fall out. 
So if you can reuse the old one, reuse it. You're bolting up the mount. So I'm gonna be putting on my new pads. If you notice, this is the old pad, it's very thin. The new pad is really thick. So I'm gonna be installing the new pads. Putting some ceramic grease on the back of the inside of the pad. Lubricating my caliper. Lubricating my pin. Now we're going to flush out the brake system. There's this covering. It says brake fluid right in front of the driver. Just open it up. And your master cylinder is right in there. So I'm going to be removing the brake fluid from the master cylinder reservoir. So there's a screen in here. We got to remove. So suck out as much brake fluid as you can. So I'm going to be pumping fresh fluid from the caliper up to the master with my Phoenix brake flusher. Opening up the bleeder screw. Connecting my Phoenix brake flusher. Now we're going to be pumping some fresh fluid. Takes about half a bottle per reel. This bottle right here. And lock up the bleeder screw. So I'm going to be removing the brake fluid again. Just suck out as much as you can. Filling up my reservoir with some fresh fluid. Putting back my screen. Putting on the cap. Now we're going to bleed the brakes. I'm going to start up the vehicle. Pump my brake pedal up and down, no more than halfway, until I feel pressure. Now oh, that feels good. So with my hood prop, I'm going to pressurize the brake system. One side against the brake pedal, the other side against the seat. Now we're going to check for air. Opening up my bleeder screw. That looks good. Lock it up. Shoot it down with some water. Because brake fluid is water soluble. Blowing down my bleeder screw. Now we're going to pressurize the brake system again. Hold on for about 15-20 seconds and then check for leaks. Okay, checking for leaks. It looks nice and dry. Put your cap on and you're good to go.